Hello students, welcome to Physics Guruji and I am Monoj Karmakar with you. In today's video, I will describe how to calculate the electric field due to a uniformly volume charge distribution using Gauss's law. Let us take a sphere of radius capital R and it has uniform volume charge distribution. That is the charge in the sphere is distributed uniformly and the charge density is rho. Now we have to calculate the electric field due to this sphere inside and outside the sphere. First I will calculate the electric field at a point at distance small r and the point is let is this p as the point and we have to calculate the electric field at p due to this whole volume. So previously you know that we can use Gauss's law to get the electric field. So to use Gauss's law we have to first draw here a surface which is called Gaussian surface and I am taking here Gaussian surface as a sphere of radius small r. As the charge distribution has spherical symmetry so the electric field here will be spherically outward that is radially outward and the electric field is always perpendicular to the Gaussian surface at every point. Let us take a small area ds at p where I have to find the electric field. Okay. Now the direction of ds and direction of electric field will be same here so we can use the Gauss's law here e dot ds equal to q enclosed by epsilon 0. Now therefore it is becomes e into ds into cos 0 degree cos 0 degree equal to 1 so e into ds equal to q e by epsilon naught. Now you can see that the every point on the Gaussian surface has a symmetry that is spherical symmetry. So electric field that is the magnitude of the electric field on the Gaussian surface is same. So electric field E can be taken as constant and outside the integration and we have E integration ds equal to QE by epsilon 0 and therefore we can write E into 4 pi r square ds that is surface integration of ds equal to 4 pi r square as we know the sorry here it is r we know that the surface area of a sphere of radius r is 4 pi r square so it is q by epsilon naught therefore e equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square here QE is the charge enclosed in the sphere or oh, sorry charge enclosed in the Gaussian surface. Now here the whole sphere is inside the Gaussian surface that means if rho is the charge density and volume is 4 third pi r cube that is radius of the sphere is equal to the total charge Q. Here point to be noted that charge is distributed in the sphere of capital R. So I have taken here 4 pi R cube as capital R. So this is the electric field outside any point on the sphere is E equal to Q pi by 4 pi epsilon 0 R square. And you can see that this is the same electric field as the charge is placed at the center of the sphere and we are finding electric field and in the same point. So this is the electric field due to a point charge. Now let us calculate the electric field inside the sphere and this is quite clear calculation. So let the draw I the draw the figure again and here this is the surface charge volume charge distribution this is the center and this is the radius of the sphere capital R. Now we are going to find the electric field inside a point so we are taking a small r 
is less than capital R and the point where I, I have to find the electric field is inside the sphere. Let us first draw the Gaussian surface. Here the Gaussian surface is inside the sphere. Then the total charge is not inside the Gaussian surface here. Some of the charges are outside the sphere and the electric field we will get only for the charge inside the sphere. So here is the difference from the previous case. Now let us use the previous formula again E dot ds equal to Q enclosed by epsilon 0. Here the only difference is in the Q enclosed. So the left side will be same as the previous one that is E into ds equal to Q enclosed by epsilon 0 and or it is E into 4 pi r square equal to Q enclosed by epsilon 0. Now Q enclosed I have to here first calculate the Q enclosed that is charged in this shaded region. So from the previous case you have seen that if rho is the charge density then Q enclosed is equal to here 4 third pi small r Q that is the volume of the Gaussian surface and rho the value of rho we can find from here that rho is equal to q by 4 third pi into capital R q. So we get here q enclosed equal to 4 pi small r q into q by 4 pi 4 third pi capital R q. 4 third pi 4 third pi cancel then I get here q into small r q by capital R q as q enclosed. We can replace it here, we get Q into small r Q by epsilon naught into capital R Q. Therefore, we get the electric field E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q into small r by capital R cube. <coughs> so, this is the electric field inside the sphere. Okay, now let us draw a graph between electric field and and distance from the center to get the variation of electric field with distance from the center of the sphere now at origin at the center of the sphere and on the surface of the sphere from 0 to capital r is the inside the sphere and from capital r to rest of the part is outside the sphere now at center that is where small r is equal to 0 from this equation we get E equal to 0. So therefore the graph will start from origin here that is E is proportional to small r here from the equation and therefore the graph will be straight line inside the sphere. In outside the graph will be parabolic because E is proportional to 1 by r square. That's mean the graph will look like this. So up to the radius that is the surface of the sphere the field will increase and then it will decrease. Now the maximum value of electric field at the surface of the sphere and that maximum value you can get from the both equations that is the, at the boundary both equation will hold good. And if you replace small r by capital R, you will get the same result and which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by capital R square. Okay. So, electric field outside the sphere is decreasing and inside the sphere increasing as you go on.